Alright, what's up guys, Lotus. Um, today I'm going to do a little tutorial on the how to make a pop-out logo. Um, this is just the way I do it. Uh, I've got the L7 logo here. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is get your render or the pitch you want. Uh, PNG preferably. Resize it to you know, whatever size you want. I'm going to put that above. Oh, that's shit right there. Okay, right, get rid of anything you don't want like this render logo here. Right. And then next thing you're gonna to want to do is because this one's got an outline, so I'm gonna get rid of those lights. Fucking hell. So you're gonna get it like where you want it, okay? And then you see where these these white lines here over the face. I don't really want them there. So what I'm gonna do is go to the outline. There won't be outlines on everything, but this is, this is just like for this particular logo. And I'm just gonna rub them out where his head is and his like helmet thing. If you guys can see it, you guys should be able to see it. Uh, all the way where his head is, so it looks like his head's kind of sticking out of the logo. Right, so as you can see it kind of looks like the head's sticking out, like the head is coming out a bit. So, once you've done that, this is another little, little technique, so get the outline, or you can even do this just with the logo. So, Outlines are easy to make really, you just literally, so I'll hide the outline real quick, so you go over here, you go the pen tool, over all the lines, just like that, and I'll just show this as an example, right, and then choose what colour you want, brush, we'll just go 5, right, I'll just do that, just so I can show you, right, stroke path, and there you go, you've got the white line white line of the L7 bit and as you can see it's exactly how it is on there so that's just how you make a make the outline okay so we got that and now what I'm going to do on the outline is I'm going to go to filter I'm going to go to distort I'm going to go to ripple and I'm going to set it you guys won't be able to see this because it's white uh, set it to about 117% and as you can see it makes the logo the, the outline ripple and I think this looks really nice So. I'm gonna try the same with the uh, the actual picture, the uh, volley bear, I'm not sure what it's called. And as you can see there, like the more you ripple it, the more it's kinda cool, it looks quite cool actually. So I'm just gonna do it a little bit to make it kinda suit the suit the logo. So once you've got that, if there was any bits that you don't want, like maybe maybe for example you don't want you should probably do this before you like ripple it and stuff. Say you don't want any of that. Just go around it with the pen tool, make the selection, just literally delete it. It's easy as that. So that actually works. So I'm going to keep that like that. And then what you want to do is find a picture for the background. Uh, and this pack has some really good like stocks and pictures and stuff. So I'm going to try and find the one with a, like a snowy background. I think this one. Yeah, this is really cool. I actually love this picture. Look how badass that guy is. Right, I'm going to put that, and I'm going to resize it, actually I might not need, I don't need to, right, and I'm going to put it behind all that, okay, and then I'm going to bring the opacity down to, we'll say 69, fuck it, right, bring it up there, right, and I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to put it above the logo, so you see you got the logo here, and I'm going to right click on that and go create clipping mask. Now what that does is it will put it inside the logo and then I'm going to turn the opacity on that all the way up. Okay, so as you can see it makes it really defined and a lot darker where the logo is. I'm going to turn the opacity of that down as well actually. Just so it makes it a lot easier to see. And this volley bear, see as you can see there, I'm going to, I don't like it where the, where it's like, I like his leg back where it was, so I'm going to bring him back, bring his leg back, I think it looked better. Right, which means I've got to replace it. Right, that's fine, that's fine, just for this. Right, <coughs> so once you got that how you want it, you get the text, change it to, I don't know, whatever name you like, uh, I'll just write mine. Okay, if you want to add some like perspective on it, you go, wait, it's far, no, edit, transform, okay, I need to make the rasterize this, edit, transform, 
perspective and you can kind of just piss around with the how it looks and all that stuff like that you can warp it yeah make certain bits stick out a bit more than others whatever you want all right and then what I usually do is as I get the same picture as that and I place it above the the text and I do the same wait what the fuck okay I need to bring it out of the group Okay, and then I'm going to go create a clipping mask again. It's going to be on there. I'm going to get rid of all this green shit. Okay, I've never used this template before, so this hasn't worked. So I'm just going to quickly make the text again. Because this is a template I've used. Alright, so Lotus, we'll get it in black. And we'll get it in. Ty this is the best font, literally, Typography Pro. It's so good. It looks amazing. And then I'm going to change it to extra bold. Right. And then I'm going to get rid of the gradient overlay. Okay. And then I'm going to resize it a bit. Make it a bit smaller. Right. I'm going to do the same ripple thing. So. Wait, I've got rasterized there. I'm going to go filter, I'm going to go ripple again, and as you can see it's rippled it, and then I'm going to go fire, edit, transform, and warp, and then I'm going to make certain bits, bigger, as you can see, right, and then if you want to get rid of certain stuff, drop shadow is usually quite good. Inner shadow is normally decent. Bevel and the contour ones good. Stroke, I mean I don't know, that looks that looks quite nice. That actually looks like it's on there. So whether you want to get put a stroke on it is completely up to you. I'm gonna turn it down actually, get a bit smaller. Turn the stroke down to one. Yeah, that looks fine. Right. And then next you can add this pack's got some really good colour correction in it, so um, I'm gonna add this one. See what this looks like. This color correction might not work. Ah, no. Jesus of Navarus. Okay, the text is gone. All right then. Clipping mask. All right, so any tech, any like. Oh, sorry. Any color corrections you guys have, or like any ones you particularly like. Um, I'm gonna go for a bluish color correction, just to tone it out a bit. Alright, I'm gonna put it there. So as you can see, it's like it actually makes like it doesn't make a massive difference, but it makes it look a bit better. And I'm gonna go back onto this, and I'm gonna get this thing here, which you put on top of color correction, and it tones it out. You should be able to see this. Yeah, it like tones it out a bit, so that looks alright. And then any random stuff you want to add, like I don't know, if you find like rocks. Uh, this is one thing I actually love. I actually love these things. You want to add this behind the behind the logo. Oh shit! Like here. And then give it the other. Sorry, I got cold, so if I'm sniffing, I'm sorry. Maybe ripple a bit. Make it fit with the theme. Kind of looks like the same texture type thing that's happening on there. Right. Um, I'm just going to leave that like that. And yeah, guys, that's, that's about it. This is what I've done. Actually, I should have got rid of these lines like straight away. So, yeah, guys, that's what I've got. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it did help you out a little bit, um, please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you want to see more tutorials in the future. Uh, that's about it, guys. Have a good day. Peace out.